In this tutorial we will introduce skins in Iris. With skins we can create native multi-channel app designs using familiar design tools in native drawing libraries. Skins are used to define a widget appearance in a Volt MX application. Skins can be applied depending on the state of the widget for example when it's at rest receives focus or is pressed. We will learn how to create skins in Iris. The different types of skins for widgets. How skins are managed and organized. Skin helper tools and common use cases with a few tips and tricks. First let's see how basic skins are created. When a new project is created there are no skins in the project. Let's add a button widget to a form. Notice that, when the first widget of a particular type is added to the form canvas a default skin is added to the project for that widget. Subsequent widgets of the same type will all use the same default skin. Notice as I start editing the default skin that a new skin is created. Iris inherently takes care of creating new skins when the default skin is modified. Skins are channel independent, which means that separate properties can be defined for iOS, Android, Windows and Web and for phone, tablet and desktop. By default all widget properties are linked together until the user decides to unlink the skin. Every widget has different types or modes based on widget properties or interactions. Let us look at a few different widgets as examples and understand how these may differ. Here I have a button on the login form. The button widget has the normal and focused skins which are common across all the platforms. Notice that when I switch to Android the pressed skin is activated in the property editor, which is unique to the Android platform. Notice also that, when I select the web platform I get the option to add a blocked UI skin, which is specific to the web platform. Similarly if I move to a desktop form which is typically non-touchscreen platform I get an option to add a hover skin for the button. These are only a few examples there are many more. Let us now look at how skins work for a more advanced widget in this case the segment widget. The segment has more skins due to its complexity and the types of interaction modes it provides. The segment's widget skin will provide styling to the overall surface area of the widget and is not specific to the segment's headers or rows. The road skin of the segment widget defines the styling for individual rows we also have the capability to provide separate styling for every other row of a segment by modifying the alternate row skin. The row focus skin defines the styling of a row when it is touched by the user. The section header skin defines the styling for a widget which has sections. By default sections are turned off for segments so you will not see them until you define the segments section header properties. These are only the most common segment skin types. Now let's review how skins are managed and organized. A skin has several properties such as the widget background and opacity. The background can be defined as a color gradient or image. We can also define the widget border color opacity size and style. The widget shadow settings and in the case of certain widgets font type size color opacity and shadow. The changes can be previewed in the app canvas as we modify the property. A few of these properties are unique to certain widgets based on the native capabilities that widget on the given platform. To access these properties Iris forks the skin which provides access to these property for each platform. All of this is done automatically as soon as an advanced property such as a gradient is applied to the skin. Notice that, as I switch between different platforms, the skin retains the same visual properties, that is because the skin is linked as seen here based on the blue color of the link icon. If you want to apply properties and make them unique to the platform deselect the link icon. Let's take a look at some of the helpful productivity tools provided in Iris. To make it easy to quickly share or copy skins between widgets of a given type you can use the copy paste assign and duplicate options in the properties panel. The copy button will copy the given skin to the clipboard, the paste and assign features differ, slightly when skin is copied and pasted to another widget. A new skin with a new ID is created and assigned to the widget. When a skin is copied and assigned to another widget the same skin is assigned or shared between the two widgets. Let's see how this is managed in Iris. On this screen the first text box has the desired skin I want to use for the password text box I will copy and then assign the skin to the second text box. Notice as I change the properties of the first text box both text boxes are affected since they share the same skin. 
If at any time you would like to make a unique copy of a skin select the duplicate option this will create a copy of the skin and assign it in one click. In Iris notice how the skin ID changes while the skin properties remain the same when I select the duplicate option. To quickly copy and paste either gradients or colors from one property or skin to another property or skin right click on the color or gradient. Notice the copy and paste options. This makes it easy for example to quickly create a new instance of a gradient from one property to another. In many cases I would like to define a unique default skin for each of my widgets for each project. This is done by right clicking on the widget and selecting the set default widget style option. This default skin will then get assigned to any subsequent widgets you add in the project as you can see here. Let's look at a few more unique applications that we can achieve by using skin properties without the need to create image files. This example here a page indicator is a circle I have created it by simply using the border property. To achieve a complete circle the radius should be large enough so that it is equal to the height and width of the widget as. Please refer to Volt MX documentation for more information.